I agree with Boko Haram on a great many things, but I do not see myself as on their side. However, I do see myself as a jihadist fighting to restore spirituality, holiness, morality, deen, piety, character on earth. So when it came out in the news today that Boko Haram pledges allegiance to ISIS, and they said, you know, the quote out of context, we announce our allegiance to the Caliph, dot, 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 and will hear and obey in times of difficulty and prosperity. We call on Muslims everywhere to pledge allegiance to the Caliph. Now, though ISIS may be more righteous than America, in fact, ISIS is more righteous than America, I've also said that ISIS is not righteous. And some of you might have missed that part. And it's going to bother you when you hear it. Um, now that I've highlighted it. <sighs> you see, the problem here is that I don't believe that Boko Haram is fighting a jihad in the way that it was meant to be fought. That, you know, I could use the girls, kidnapping the girls as an example, you know. You're not really supposed to convert, force people to convert to Islam. You're supposed to create your Islamic state, allow your enemies to seek refuge, and to turn to Allah, if they will. You're supposed to allow the Christians to pay taxes. And we've seen a lot of disturbing events in the news, and it's hard to tell what exactly is going on. One thing for sure is that Boko Haram has taken credit for their shortcomings and their lack of compliance with the rules that were set by the Prophet and Allah. So therefore, though I will maintain my stance that ISIS is more righteous than America, the problem is now that any future attacks can either be seen as ISIS giving the okay, giving the order, or approving it. Any future attacks by Boko Haram, that is. Therefore, this alliance has now made ISIS my enemy, as well as Boko Haram. And I know this will not sit well with many of you. Specifically, jihadists who support ISIS and what they do um, by offering them moral support and um, support as far as debating on their behalf, arguing on their behalf. Social media support, if you will. Now, some, some of my best friends, you know, on YouTube are supporters of ISIS. And as such, I haven't really made a big deal of the things that I disagree with that they either do or has been claimed that they do. I would have loved to be part of a jihadist movement that saw things the way I did and that wished to overthrow the secret society structure of the world. Um, I do not agree with the tactics that ISIS is taking in order to solve their problem. But I understand them. I agree with some of their tactics. I know you have to consolidate the um, surrounding terrain and cities and countries into one cohesive Islamic caliphate in order to have more power to fight with your enemies on the, in the long term. But what you see here is that my hands are tied, so to speak. So I cannot offer ISIS moral support, social media support, funding, or, or my allegiance. Um, because now I have to choose to somewhat be on America's side of this conflict though I know ISIS is more righteous than America. 
that is the difficult position that they've put me in for two reasons. One, that Boko Haram does not comply with the rules that were set before them. And they have come out and said so themselves. They said, I take the girls. You know, the Hadith has said that they could do that and that, you know, they could sell them in the market, etc., etc. I don't agree with this interpretation. Although there is something along the lines of this um, being fair play, I don't agree. And I don't agree that it should have been what was done. So it puts me in a very difficult situation. And also begs the question number two, it goes, it goes, you know, this leads me to my second point. Is that if this is what they do with the Christians in the north, what would they do with my family um, who are Christians in the south? So ask yourself, you know, if you were me, would you put your tribe and your extended family and your in the in the hands of people who you don't believe are following Islam correctly? Would you side with people who you do not believe are following Islam correctly against your own family? Though they may be Christians, I believe that they are more devout worshipers of God than Boko Haram. And therefore, I will not be pledging my allegiance to ISIS nor Boko Haram. My offer still remains on the table. If America gives me that AK-47 and at least 10 clips, I will fly to Nigeria. I will claim what they owe me to arm the Ebos, to arm myself. I will slightly forgive them for not arming the Ebos during the Nigerian Civil War. And I will fight my enemies to the finish. But I don't think, I can't see America doing that. You know, they rather follow me around and mock me. Two things happened recently. A deputy was assaulted and a pedophile with five charges against him, five charges of, of inappropriate conduct, you know, or, or sexual assault of children, whatever it was. Five different charges. Escaped from Valley Medical Center. The same place that had me, you know. But I wasn't there for such a serious reason or I probably would have escaped too. But, you know, they're, they're watching me with a bunch of people but no one's watching these pedophiles at, at Valley Medical Center. Valley Medical Center are some of the people involved in the psychological operation against me. It's more important for them to provoke um, a political dissident to make themselves feel better about my videos and about my political stance and about the insults I've hurled their way than it is to make sure that a pedophile gets justice. Disgusting, deplorable, re reprehensible. Pathetic. And then a highway patrol officer in East San Jose. Both these places are dear to me. I was born in East San Jose. I have friends in East San Jose. Highway patrol officer. His car got shot. I believe it was only shot one time. Okay? So they're, they're not watching their own and making sure they're safe, but they're trying to provoke me instead. I mean, isn't, that, isn't that disgusting? I mean, how does that make you really feel? You know, you could easily been there to, to to watch you know this pedophile transaction go on and if he escaped you would have been there to see which way he went and we could have informed the police but instead you're provoking me you all should be thrown in jail and someone should swallow the key <laughs> um so but getting back to the video that was the purpose of the video I think there is no easy solution to what is going on. Um, there's all sorts of, you know, places, Libya, Egypt, Afghanistan, Pakistan, you know, ISIS has followers all over and people who sworn their allegiance all over. And, you know, by siding, by Boko Haram's pledging allegiance to them, you know, it forces me to therefore hold ISIS responsible for whatever happens, you know. And they're at risk of being hated by me more than America is, even though I see America as mainly to blame for the formation of ISIS, no matter how you look at it. Thus, ISIS is more righteous than America, but I cannot side with them, and I still condemn Boko Haram. Thank you.